Renee Yvonne, the Gen Sexologist. Happy New Year. We made it to 2022. It's so great to see you here now. So I'm not a big fan of doing resolutions, but I do believe in having goals and trying something new in a new year. This is your chance. You have 365 brand new days that you could do something new. So today I'm gonna to challenge you with three sexy challenges that you can try out anytime you want during the year. It doesn't have to be right away. You can try it out in the summer or the spring or the fall or in the winter, it doesn't matter. The first one is going to be talk about sex with your partner. So often we're with someone that we love and adore, we've married, we've done all these things, but what we haven't done with them is talk to them about the sex that we'd like to have. We're scared, we're frightened that maybe we're gonna say something that they're not going to be into, or maybe you're thinking that they're gonna think I'm crazy if I wanna do this, or maybe you've talked about it and you've been shut down. But this is the year to talk about sex with your partner. And if you're having trouble with that, I'm gonna encourage you to sign up for my coaching sessions. I do three coaching sessions with couples and I go through how to talk about sex and we could talk about your yeses, your hard no's, your maybes, I'll tr you know, maybe I'll try that, and your fantasies in this workshop. We'll also talk about the sexual response cycle and how men and women respond differently to sexual responses. We'll do a graph of how your pleasure works and then we'll talk about male and female anatomy and how you can pleasure both partners this couples workshop is invaluable to couples and many couples that i've worked with say it has changed their sex life and they absolutely love it so i want to encourage you to talk about sex this year and if you have trouble doing that one-on-one -on -one, this is where you want to bring in a sex counselor like myself who can help you to talk about these things and it's amazing because sometimes you're a little afraid to say things to your partner that you're completely comfortable saying in front of me for whatever reason, which is great because I want to help you to have those conversations so that both of you or however many are in your, your sexual party can have the pleasure that they deserve and want in 2022. The second challenge goal that I'm going to give to you is to appreciate your body. And so often, especially uh, for women, but for men as well, we have some body image issues. Maybe we have gained weight over the years, which has definitely happened to most people. Maybe we can't gain the weight we want to gain. Maybe we've been really small for years. We've been trying to put on some muscle or some weight and it's just not happening. Maybe we've been sick for a while and our body has been through some ravages of that sickness. If that's the case, you may be feeling like, I'm not sexy anymore. My breasts are droopy, my legs are too skinny, my butt is flabby, whatever it is, I want you to take a moment to stop beating yourself up and to appreciate your body for what it can do, not just for how it looks. We're not 20 anymore, let's just face that fact. We're not, we're just not. But we have the wisdom and the the time put in to make our bodies do what it, we like it to do and to appreciate it for all the things that it has done and for all that it will do in the future. For example, if you feel like I breastfed babies back in the day, my breasts are droopy and they just aren't perky anymore. You know what? Buy beautiful lingerie. Buy nipple clips, get your nipples pierced, put pasties on them, dress them up and adorn them. If you feel like you don't like your feet for whatever reason. I personally wear a size 12 shoe. I feel like my foot is this big and it, it actually might be, <laughs> but it feels like a really big foot. So what I do in the summer in particular, I paint my toes beautiful colors. I have a toe ring on it and I walk out in sandals because there is literally nothing I can do about a size 12 foot. I just can't do anything about it. So I dress it up. If you feel like your hands are odd looking, wear beautiful big rings that draw attention to the rings and people will, will look at that. Whatever it is, adorn that thing and appreciate it. The second thing about that is to appreciate it for what it can do. So for instance, you may not like your feet, but guess what? They walk you from your house to your car or to your kitchen or the bathroom. They take a lot of 
brunt work for you for the day, right? And so what you want to do, give them a pedicure from time to time and appreciate those feet for what they do. If you feel like, oh, my belly's too big, rub that belly and tell it, you know what? You've given birth to kids or you've eaten a lot of gray hamburgers, whatever it is, appreciate it for what it can do instead of beating yourself up about how it looks. And by doing this, you'll eventually begin to make the changes if that's what you want to become more loving towards your body because you are showing it the love that it deserves because of all that it's done for you. The third challenge that I'm going to give to you is to take a class and try something new. So often we have gotten into a rut in our sexual lives, right? There are times where you could literally say, I know this, 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 this are going to happen tonight when we get together. And that's not very exciting, is it? No, nobody really wants that over and over again. It gets boring. So this is your opportunity this year to try something new. If you don't know what to do, you could take a class with me. I teach classes on blow his mind. I take a class on how to eat cake, which is all about cunnilingus. I teach classes on BDSM. And this is an opportunity for you to come to a class and try out something new. So for instance, maybe you've been kind of thinking about BDSM, but you don't know how to get started. This is a great time to start. Maybe you buy a flogger, maybe you buy a paddle, maybe you buy a blindfold and you start there with your partner to help mix things up. Maybe you want to try role playing. Maybe you've been thinking, you know, I, I want to give my partner a great blowjob, but I just don't know what I'm doing. Take a class. Maybe you're thinking, you know, my wife keeps asking me to eat her out, but she doesn't seem to like it when I do it. Maybe you take a class. This is the opportunity to take these workshops and to learn more about pleasure anatomy for both men and women, how it works, and how you can keep your partner happy in that relationship. So I'll have the links for all those workshops below. In the meantime, I want you all to have a pleasure-filled and extremely happy new year, and I'll see you next week. Bye.